Hey y'all, it's Coach in the Fight here, taking on the Rapture again. Today we're going to take off, take on one of the um, most controversial topics that I could probably come up with, and that is when is the Rapture. But you know, don't click off, don't run, sit back. You know, you listen to a lot of other people, you know, talk a bunch of stuff about, the, about what they think and feel and believe. Give you know, Coach in the Fight a chance, give the Scripture a chance, and let us show you when the Rapture is going to be. We're going to look in the Third Testament of the Bible. Now, I knew this. I know this is new to some people. Um, but this is scriptural, uh, stuff here. And just because you're not aware of it, don't make it any less true. But anyway, we're looking here. We're in, um, chapter 55. You know, I did a class on this chapter 55 verse seven is, um, kind of, is kind of what you're expecting. You say, well, it ain't 55 verse seven, you know, talks about, you know, the 144,000 and how when they're all, um, united around the law how we can expect um, um, changes or you know vibrations in a planet and such but that's the six seal event that's the six seal event and you know we're we're advised not to get that confused with the seven seal event the six seal event not everyone is raptured during that some people will start to be raptured the, the 144 will be raptured during the six seal um, some of the righteous elect will be raptured during the six seal um, but the majority, the 7.6 billion people will not be raptured until the seventh seal. OK, and that's what we're talking about here. So let's look look here in, in the verses here. Now, I do want to give you a lot of background knowledge. So I'm starting here on verse uh, 54 and we're going to cover a few verses here. Um, so let's just jump right in. We're talking about the natural catastrophes natural catastrophes and earthquakes now this is scriptural text this is the bible this is our father our creator talking and so we can hear what he has to say about this you know let's see verse 54 says humanity if all the efforts you have dedicated to prosecuting bloody wars had been dedicated to executing humanitarian works, your existence will be filled with the blessings of the Father. But men have used the riches they have accumulated to sow destruction, pain, and death. So, coming from the Father, we just said this is the Father talking to us. Now, we can imagine what kind of lecture we're about to get here when he kind of starts off like this. Um, yeah, it's going to get rough, but when you were talking about the rapture, we're also talking about the tribulation. So bear with me. Just sit back, relax. If, if, if you find yourself a little bit impatient, go down to the settings button and punch it up to a 1.5 speed. That's why I don't play music or any have any other, you know, things going on, you know, audio wise. So you can speed it up. I listen to myself at 1.5. But let's go. He says this cannot be the true life that which must be led by those who are brothers and children of God meaning this ain't the really the way we're supposed to live you know um, if you turn on the news it seems like everybody's hell-bent on destruction even those who call themselves peaceful people are you know kind of watching the show you know as far as all of this this war and stuff is going on nobody's really doing a whole lot of protesting or trying to stop anything even though I might not have a gun in my hand you know the, re the remote control might be um, might be my weapon that I'm using in this war but I'm gonna try to go on this form of life is not in accord with the law I have written in your conscience now remember the scripture says that the laws will be written on our conscience and that's probably what he's talking about 56 says to make you understand the error in your ways volcanoes shall arise okay now <clears throat> You bear with me so far, but we're already getting into some interesting stuff. He's he's kind of told us that we were misbehaving and, you know, doing things inappropriately. And now he says to make you understand the error. Talking about the tribulation here, the purpose of the tribulation. He's saying to make us understand the error in in which we live. Volcanoes shall arise. Fire shall surge from the earth to exterminate the evil seed. OK, so we're talking about earthquakes and we're talking about volcanoes. Now, get on the Web and you see what all, now you can see why all these people are so excited when they hear of an earthquake or a volcano or such things going on. It's because this is what you know, this is what's in our eschatology. This is what the Lord's plan is. The Lord plans to use these volcanoes and vibrations and different, you know, other things that's going to, you know, um, go on in order to get people to refocus our attention on what it should be. And that's on him. He says the winds shall be unleashed. Now we know the winds. We're talking about war. We could be talking about war. I don't want to pigeonhole myself um, before I read the rest of the verse. He says the earth will tremble and the water shall sweep 
over rain regions and nations now a lot of the planet is going to be changed guys a lot of the the continents are going to be wiped away if you believe our scripture you know that there's a lot of stuff going to happen to the planet this is the tribulation and the tribulation is what's kind of going to get us to the rapture part but let's go in that way the elements will show their resentment of man you say well why does the elements resent man you got if you if you've ever heard of the book of Adam and Eve, you know that when Cain killed Abel and tried to bury him, tried to hide the body, the earth spit the body back up onto the ground, up onto the surface. This happened three times because the earth did not want to take the the body of Adam of of, of Abel. Um, well, you can imagine how many people we've killed since then. And so if the Lord, if the earth had such a problem with that one being able, how much how much problem that he had with all of the billions of people we've killed since then? All right. So it has a resentment for us. They have broken with him because man has been destroying one by one the bonds of friendship and brotherhood that tie him to the nature that surrounds him. Meaning while we are messing with each other, while we have been harming each other. Um, we have been building up um, some resentment with the earth. The earth it has is, is going to it's going to get us back. And, you know, it's the, the member revelation says that the four winds are being held back. So you can imagine the the earth is, you know, this angry old lady that swole up, you know, with her fist balled up, ready to punch us in the mouth. And the Messiah or the, the creator is saying, hold up, hold up. Let me let me get my get my people sealed first before this happens. Look at 58. Many calamities will come upon mankind. Within nature, there will be disturbances. Okay. Remember, we got flying locusts. We got rivers destroyed. We got volcanoes. We got earthquakes. We got a bunch of stuff going on. The elements will be unleashed. Elements like fire, wind, uh, water, and uh, uh, what's the other one? Uh, earth. And the earth is going to be shaken too. All kinds of the elements. Fire will devastate the region. De fire will devastate regions. The waters of the rivers will leave their course. The seas will undergo changes. A lot of stuff is about to take place over this tribulation period. And you know, it's it's kind of sad when you see so many people that are unaware of what's about to go on. I mean, they're going on through their daily lives, you know, like nothing's about to happen. When you know they actually could be preparing and trying to survive this thing. But anyway, what does Revelation say? It say, "Let the wicked stay wicked." So, uh, yes, we got to do that. Fifty nine says there will be regions which will be buried under waters. Remember the whole um 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 um. Um, story or the mythological story that there's a, a land called Atlantis. Atlantis was supposed to go underwater and supposed to come back. He says there will be regions which will be buried under waters and new lands will appear. So that sounds like Atlantis, right? It does to me. Many creatures will lose their lives and even those beings inferior to man will perish. See, this tribulation is, n is not really a thing for mankind itself. Everything is going to be affected from, you know, trees to bugs to animals to, you know, a lot of stuff is going to be affected. Um, it prom the, the tribulation promises to be the worst event that the planet will ever see, has ever seen in all throughout time and will ever see. Verse 60 says the elements await only the hour to unleash themselves upon the world to cleanse and purify the earth. We're talking about the tribulation here. He's like, wait a minute. So I don't want to hear about the tribulation. The tribulation and the rapture go side, go, goes hand in hand. So let's keep going. The more sinful and proud a nation, the harsher my judgment of it. And it could have very well said the more sinful and proud a person. There's a lot of sinful people and a lot of sinful and proud people walking around. But they too have to have their cup of bitterness drained. And so it's just going to take a lot more draining to get there. It will be necessary for the couple of bitterness to reach it before it will be able to hear the voice of conscience. Now, this is a very significant uh, sentence here. It's, it's telling us the purpose of the tribulation. Why do we have a tribulation? It's talking about the heart of humanity. It says the heart of humanity um, it will be necessary for the cup of bitterness to reach the heart of humanity before the heart of humanity will be able to hear the voice of the conscious, the voice of the law, the divine justice. All will be for the salvation and eternal life of the spirits which are whom I seek. This is the father talking here and he's telling you the purpose of the tribulation is 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 because of this is that 
if we're actually going to be able to hear his voice, we're actually going to be able to hear our conscience. Remember, we've always been told to follow our conscience. Well, I know I can speak for myself. I've had a hard time hearing my conscience. But it's because of this tribulation, because of this cup of bitterness that's being talked about here that we're all, we're all going to be able to hear our conscience. We're all going to be able to hear the law. We're all going to be able to hear of divine justice and will be for the salvation and eternal life of the spirits which are whom I seek. Talking about the, the, the Father seeks our our spirits let's go on 62 the flood that cleansed the earth of the human impurities and the fire that descended upon sodom you know them as legends now the flood we're talking about noah's flood there and we're also talking about sodom and gomorrah um i think most people um know about those stories so we won't go into them in any detail he says however in this era you will also contemplate how humanity will be touched as the earth trembles by the force of the air the water and the fire okay so he's comparing the flood and those things that happen in Sodom and Gomorrah to what's about to happen now there's going to be flood there's going to be fire there's going to be you know water and, and air involved in different stuff and he's trying to forewarn us he says, I shall again send to you an ark. Remember the ark uh, the ark that Noah had there. Remember, he, well, you may not know that he spent seven years building his ark. And the whole time he was building the ark, those around him were laughing at him and picking on him and said, hey, you're so dumb for building the ark when we ain't never even heard of rain. Why are you building a boat and ain't even a water on the planet? And, and, and you know, that's kind of what's going on now where there's a lot of people who are, are reading the, who, who are reading the scripture in order to prepare their ark. And there's a lot of people, you know, who are enjoying this this life that we live here and they kind of laugh and saying, ha, 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 look at these folk over here, you know, building this ark. This looks real dumb. And the same thing is going on now. But he says, I shall again send you an ark, which is my law. Now, this time we're talking about the law. It's a different kind of ark. It's not a boat ark. You don't hear no hammering and nails going on in the background here. But I promise you, I am building an ark. This ark that we're talking about is the law. And what we mean, let me get a little bit more specifically. I am taking the, the law of the ark and now building it inside my, my heart or, or something like that. I, I should have made this up before I actually try to say it. Maybe the law is the blueprint that I'm now building my life around kind of thing, maybe. But you, uh, hopefully you see what I mean. So that those who penetrate it may be saved. Okay, now the tribulation promises to kill all everybody on the planet. When you think about all the things that are supposed to be to happen, we're supposed to lose one quarter of the earth, meaning one quarter of the land mass will be um, um, wiped away. There's more land that's going to appear on the earth, so it's more it's continents and stuff that we don't even know about that's going to be here. You can imagine there's not much infrastructure on those continents wherever they're going to splash up from. So life is really going to be, you know, changed for us. Things are going to be different for us, and you know. Um, <clears throat> but let me go on. Um, not all of those who on that hour of trial will say, Father, Father, will love me. Everybody's going to say, Father, Father. I promise you, if I go out here and grab the most stringent, the most strictest uh, atheist there is and put him in a nice little chokehold and start squeezing him on a little bit, I promise you I can make him holler out, Father, Father. Well, the tribulation is going to make a lot of people holler out, Father, Father, but they still ain't going to love him. They're just going to want to stop the pain. They're still going to want to the pain to stop. But, you know, just like the father says, you know, as soon as the pain stops, they're going to act like pigs and they're going to go right back to where they were. Not this time. This is the tribulation we're talking about. <clears throat> it says, not all of those who on that hour of trial will say, Father, Father, will love me, but rather those who always practice my love for their fellow man, those shall be saved. Now, what is what is what is telling me here is those who automat who who at the last second try to embrace the law, try to pick up the you know Exodus chapter 20 and start reading there. They ain't gonna be able to read fast enough. That's what it's telling to me. You, you, it's gonna come on. Remember, he says that our the calamity is gonna come on us quick. Well, they're not gonna have the time. They may be yelling, Father, 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 but that doesn't do you much good. I promise you, it doesn't. It's obedience to the Scripture. Remember, if we we're calling on the the Lord's name in vain if we don't back it up with the scripture and a lot of people are doing that he says a lot of people will be doing that in that last hour and a lot of people are going to be wiped away in this in this tribulation let's go on 54 a new flood will become unleashed that will cleanse the 
earth of human perversity okay so just like the other one the, the purpose of the oh not not the purpose of the flood the the other event <clears throat> The flood, you know, the Lord used it as an opportunity to wipe away all of those um, people who who existed at the time who were hybrids. Remember, the angels had made it with people at that time and taught us a bunch of stuff. So we weren't really talking about humans that we know of. But, you know, they 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 were humanoids. They were angel human mixed people where they all got annihilated. They all got wiped away in the flood. That was the purpose of the flood. And we're going to get another one that's going to wipe away human perversity, too. It will topple the false gods from their altars. Remember in, X, in Isaiah and Jeremiah, he said all of the altars and our false gods are going to be knocked down. He's going to destroy stone by stone the foundations of arrogance and iniquity and will erase every false doctrine and every absurd philosophy. So what is he talking about here? Foundations of arrogance and iniquity. You know, this, the word I use is... Um, Arrogant and ignorant, ignorant and arrogant, meaning they don't really have a solid grasp on the scripture, what the word actually says. But there's a lot of people real arrogant and walking around talking about, uh, I believe I, I got I this. I, I got on Jesus peaks. You know, I, I do my Hail Marys every day. But you ain't follow no commandments. You ain't follow no rules, statutes, judgments, precepts. These people are arrogant and ignorant. But he says, but, you know, he got something for that. Destroy stone by stone the foundations of arrogance and inequity and erase every false doctrine. Every false doctrine. There's a lot of people on, on you know, YouTube. I'm sure you've seen a lot of people that are talking a lot of false doctrines. You know, they talk about what they think and what they believe and, you know, all of this. All is going to be erased and every absurd philosophy is all going to be erased. 65 says, yet this new deluge shall not be as what as was that of the earlier era of water he's telling you it's not going to be water this time remember a lot of people say everybody's supposed to be another flood well we just got a different kind of flood for now the hand of man has loosed all of the elements see at first it was just water look what he said at first it was just water now it's fire now it's wind now it's earth now it's all kinds of stuff both seen and unseen now, i can't even talk on this what elements are unseen that's that's that I, you know that's kind of weird Anyway, we're going to find out in a minute because why they're coming against us. He dictates his own sentence. Talking about us. We dictated our own sentence. The Lord is not punishing us. And that's really something we have to change in the way we talk. This is not the Lord's wrath that's coming on us. We did this. We dictated our own sentence. We punished ourselves. And, you know, it's, it's the justice, the divine justice that's going to come, you know, that's, that's going to come on to us. All right, look at 66. I know I messed that up a little bit, but I'm going to run, run. The elements shall cry out for justice. Keep talking about these elements. And upon unleashing themselves, they will cause portions of the earth to disappear, becoming seas, and seas to vanish where land arises. Yeah, guys, there's some big stuff going to happen. Volcanoes will erupt to announce the time of judgment. Look at Revelations. It's saying the same thing. And all nature will be agitated and moved. All of nature will be agitated and moved. Thanks, Chris. Because that will be the precise time in which the spiritual Trinitarian Marian doctrine will be spread throughout the hearts of man. Guys, there it is. And you wonder where the tribulation is. You, I mean, you wonder where the rapture is and all of this. There it is. The spiritual Trinitarian Marian doctrine. That is the rapture. It is a change. That's what we're going to be changed to. And it is after these events that we are going to be changed. Right. So that's that you say, well, you know, nobody knows the day or the hour. I still don't know the day or the hour. I know I'm, I didn't come here to tell you the day or the hour. I come here to tell you when the rapture will be. And when will the rapture be? It says or it says. Pray so that you will know how to conduct yourselves as good disciples because that will be the precise time in which the spiritual Trinitarian Marian doctrine will be spread throughout the hearts of man. Which means we all will be raptured. We all will have the spirit. We all will recognize the spirit that lived in us the whole time. That's the difference between where we're at and where we're going now. We are materialistic beings. We don't really care anything about spiritual. We don't. We don't. We don't really know how to hear our conscience or care about our conscience. We just do whatever we think is right. Everybody's right in their own mind, and we do just that. Well, there's going to be some some um, 
a turmoil in the planet and then after this turmoil is over at that precise time then we will have the change that we're talking about all right so let's go on we're gonna wrap this thing up i think we're here on the last few verses that we want to talk about i'm gonna give you some more in case you want to read ahead 69 says three quarters of the surface of the earth shall be shall disappear three quarters three quarters one in four of the earth shall disappear now you know you think this ain't gonna wake people up people talking about oh i think and i believe okay when the, when three quarters of the earth then disappear well, let's see what they think and believe then and one quarter only shall remain as a refuge for those that survive the chaos you shall see the fulfillment of many prophecies right so we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up but before we do whoa whoa, whoa i don't let me look at verse 70 there I, let me stop here because this is important do not be confused because before the closing of the sixth seal great things shall happen now we are in the sixth seal guys we know that we are in the sixth seal because of the awakening of the elijah spirit this is saying that there's going to be a six seal event that's what we talked about in chapter 55 verse 7 we already did a class on that you guys can look for 55 verse 7 is the six seal event it's big too it's earth shaking too it's a lot going on too but everybody's not going to be raptured then everybody's not going to you know start embracing the um uh spirit spiritual trinitarian marian doctrine at that point it's just going to kind of wake everybody up to say hey this is go time we're still going to have a lot of death we're still going to have a lot of turmoil we're still going to have a lot of events that's going to take place um between the that um what is it called here that six seal yeah, I'm, well, I'm guess I'm that's my thing the six seal event and a seven seal event that's when all of the the major stuff is going to go down so he's he's saying don't be confused by the beginning of it it's only at the end that we will all be raptured now at the beginning there's a lot of people going to get raptured I know I'm, I'm, I'm you know, dragging this on a little bit but I, I but this is important because nobody wants to get left behind at the six seal event the hundred and forty four thousand the four runners will be rapture will be changed will be converted over spiritually will be changed to this to this new doctrine this spiritual doctrine but now there are others who will be changed during that time that are not the forerunners that are regular old everyday citizens these will be the righteous few the people maybe like you who are searching for right searching for truth searching for knowledge searching for understanding well we pray that you'll find it one day because you can then be raptured during this period too the period between the sixth seal and the sex seal the sixth seal and the seventh seal you can be raptured too that everybody can be but they will not they won't the majority of people is not going to do it. Don't believe me? Start talking to your family members, your mama, your sister, your brother, your, your sons, your daughters, and see how hard fast they are stuck on materialism, guys. And you're going to have to pry that material crap out of their hands. And, you know, that's what our father promises to do. He's going to strip them of all of that stuff. And then, you know, we're going to see... Um, we're going to be raptured. Then we're going to be changed. Then we're going to be new being, incorruptible bodies. You know all of that. Then, then you know, and then we'll get to live the rest of our you know, time out here on this planet, 1,000 years before the whole thing goes up in the flames. I know this is a lot, guys. I do know it's a lot, but hey, man, there's a lot to read in the scripture. You know, you can't you can't just read one or two verses and think you got everything. I promise you, there's a million verses that we can read. And, you know, all of them are here for our edification. All of them will help us out. So with that, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and close it out. Leave your comments. Hit the like button and subscribe.